In this problem, we're told a ship sets out to sail to a point 120 kilometers due north. An unexpected storm blows the ship to a point 100 kilometers due east of its starting point. A, how far, and B, and in what direction must it now sail to reach its uh, original destination? So let's just draw an image of what's going on. So we have this ship, right? And it plans to go, so just imagine this dots our ship. It's going to plan to go 120 kilometers north, right? So this is north, east, south, west. So it plans to go here, right? Just imagine this distance right here. It's going to be 120 kilometers. So it plans to go this way. But an unexpected storm blows the ship to a point 100 kilometers due east of its starting point. So if this is its starting point, it's going to be 100 kilometers due east. So this is east, right? So 100 kilometers this way. All right, so this isn't going to be a scale, but just imagine it is. So 120 or just 100 kilometers this way. And so we're trying to find how far and in what direction must it now sail to reach its original destination. So this is its original destination, right? So if we're trying to find how far. We're trying to find this length right here, right? We're trying to find this length uh, of this, and we'll be able to find how far away it is. And then the direction, uh, we'll do that after. So let's just start with the length first. So what you should notice is that this is a um, right triangle, right? And we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse if we're given two of the side lengths. So you should know the Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So imagine this is a, this is b, and then c is your hypotenuse. So c is what we're trying to find. So if we want to solve for this, solve this for c, if we square root both sides, it's going to get rid of the squared. So c is going to be equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, right? So imagine this is a, this is b, and all we have to do is plug in and we can solve for this length, right? So how far away it is. So c is going to be equal to the square root of a, which is 100, right? And they're interchangeable, but it doesn't matter. So b is going to be 120, so 120 squared. So if you go ahead and do this, the square root of 100 squared plus 120 squared, uh, plug it in your calculator or whatever, you're going to get c equals 156.204 and so on. I'm just going to round to the whole number, so just make this 156. And then it's going to be uh, in our unit, right? So distance is kilometers. So the answer to A is going to be 156 kilometers. So we know this distance right here, 156 km. And then now we're trying to find in what direction must it now sail to reach uh, where it planned to go, right? So right here. And the way we're going to do that is you can find this angle. And the way you do that is by taking uh, the arc tangent. So you want to do the arc tangent of your y component, so the direction in the y, so the distance in the y, which we know is 120, right? So your y over your x, so y is 120, b is how far we go in the x direction, which is 100. So 120 over 100. If you do the arc tangent of this, you're going to get it equals 50.1944 and so on. I'm going to round to the tenths place here, so 50.2. And so keep in mind what we just solved for this right here so this angle right here is 50.2 degrees and so it says in what direction so you want to say 50 so your angle that you solve for 50.2 degrees but keep in mind where we're going if this is north right and when we're going in the west direction so you would say uh 50.2 degrees north of west right because we're going in the north direction of the west direction so you would say 50.2 degrees north of west and so this right here is going to be your answer to B, and hopefully you found this useful.